Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by elimination. So, if I was given the system negative 4y minus 11x equals a 36, and 20 equals a negative 10x minus 10y. But what I want to do um, is I want to get basically these equations to look the same. Essentially have all the x's on one side and y's on one side and the numbers on the other side. That's why I like to see it for elimination. So let's segue over here and let's go rewrite it. Now luckily for us, um, what I can do here is, it really doesn't matter in a sense, um, but um, you can, the numerator I'm going to leave out on the top equation, negative 4y minus 11x equals 36. 6 but 36. The second one, you can, you essentially can just flip it, uh, but what I'll do is just essentially say I'm going to add the 10x to both sides and 10y to both sides and just subtract the 20. So we have a positive 10y here, uh, positive 10y here plus 10x equals a negative 20. And it really didn't matter. You could have just kind of flipped it because like I could multiply the whole thing by negative 1 and really get that. But I did this on purpose, so then I'd have opposite variables for my, um, or the top would be negative, bottom would be positive when I do my next step. So what I want to do now is see, okay, what can I do to multiply the numerator and or the denominator? Not the top and the bottom, they're not numerators and denominators. That's just, yeah. Uh, anyway, so multiply that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the whole top equation by 10, which is right here, and the bottom equation by 4. And that will ensure, because 10 times negative 4, or 10 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 10, ensure that the y's will be eliminated. 10 times negative 4 y is a negative 40 y. And 10 times negative 11 is a negative 11, uh, 110 x. And that equals 360. Okay? The bottom, multiply that whole thing by 4. 4 times 10 y is a 40 y. 4 times 10 x is a 40 x. And 4 times negative 20 is negative 80. So what I'm going to do now is add these two equations. They should eliminate the y, which they do. Negative 40y plus positive 40y is 0, so you have 0 right there. Plus, now we have negative 110x plus a positive 40x comes out to be, oh, what is that, uh, negative 70x. And now we have 360 minus 80 is a negative, or positive, um, 280, 280, positive 280. So now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 70. And that should give me x by itself here. And 280 divided by negative 7, I believe, is just a negative 4. Okay? So we have x equal to be a negative 4 here, which is great. So now what we're going to do is plug that into one of my equations and solve for uh, the other variable, y. Okay? How about let's just pick the uh, Let's go pick the second equation. So I'm going to rewrite that down here. Uh, 20 equals negative 10x minus 10y. And I'm going to plug in this knowledge that x is 4. So we have 20 equals negative 10 times and negative 4 minus 10y. Simplify that. Negative 10 times a negative 4 is a positive 40. So we have 20 equals positive 40 minus 10y. And then I'm going to subtract a 4 from both sides leaving me with 20 minus 40 to be a negative 20 equals a negative 10y, divided by negative 10 to both sides, and really y comes by itself is a positive 2. So now we have x is a negative 4, y is a positive 2. I can write that as a coordinate point here as negative 4 comma 2, and that would be my final answer. So let's recap. We're given our two equations, negative 4y minus 11x equals 36, and 20 equals negative 10x minus 10y. I rewrote this so that it would all line up. So I adapted the second equation. Then from there, I multiplied the numerator of the top equation by 10 and bottom equation by 4, and that would set me up to eliminate the y variables. When I added the two equations together, it eliminates the y, and then I simplified, uh, or I got negative 70x equals 280, and so I'm finding an x to be a negative 4. I plug that negative 4 back into my second equation. I could have done either one. I chose the second equation. And in doing so, when I simplify it, I got y to be 2. 
Since so now I have my x value, my y value, that's the coordinate point, that's the solution to the system of equations. By elimination, gave us our final answer, which is negative 4, comma, 2.